Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. B, your Creole Connection, coming to you this Saturday morning from my home office. Let's get something out of the way. This is not a tech channel, obviously, uh, so I'm not pretending to do tech reviews or give you the best alternative among many options. But I do know that as you transition in life, for example, when I was uh, leaving education and retiring, I wanted to make my home office my primary place of being productive. And so when I come across a product or some type of gadget or some type of tech equipment that I think would be beneficial to you, I'm going to at least talk about it a little bit. So today we're going to talk about the difference between a hub and a docking station and how the docking station offers me a better alternative for my office and my desk setup. Let's take a look. So this is what I'm currently using. This is the Satachi hub uh, about the size of my palm it has a good build quality it's made of aluminum uh, it has two usb type c uh, ports one's a thunderbolt port it has a hdmi port it has two usb 3.0 ports and two card readers an ethernet port, a VGA port, and here a, a, a Thunderbolt 3 power port that handles, that sends about 60 watts of power to my laptop. Keeps it topped off. Not bad, but it, it it's just not, the, the build quality is pretty good, but the design is not good at all. It rocks. It has cables coming out of all sides of it. It looks like an octopus. Uh, when I put it on my desk and move, I mean, the thing rocks, cables whip it around. And so I was looking for something that's more permanent. This is nice for a, a little portable device. Take it with me if I need, uh, you know, this type of connectivity. But that's very rare. And I have... A, an iPad, so I, I rarely take my laptop anywhere. So I was looking for a more permanent solution to connectivity than this. And so this, this docking station uh, will take the place of a lot of dong issues. So let's just, let's just hop right into it. Let's open it up. And right off the bat we have the, the dock. And let's see what else we have in the box. We have some paperwork. We have the Thunderbolt 3 cable and a power brick here. So let's get this box out the way. So I was able to secure one of these OWC Thunderbolt docks. A docking station is bigger. It's heavier, it's more permanent. Uh, you plug all your devices in, you sit it in, on your desk and you leave it there. It's not very uh, portable. I mean, it can be, but it's, it's, that's not the optimal use for it. And it has uh, an incredible number of, of ports. It has three USB type C Thunderbolt ports which handle data at 50 gigabytes per second, which is super fast. It has uh, an ethernet uh, port and three USB uh, ports for legacy devices. And this is what I really needed because I needed something for my legacy printer, my legacy uh, scanner, and also my USB microphone. And so all of those devices can now be plugged into this device, this docking station, and the cables hang out the back. And it sits on my desk, cables coming out of the back, very nice and uh, neat. And it, uh, it allows me to engage in much more effective cable management. And on the front, we have a SD card reader, another USB uh, port, and a combo microphone, headphone jack, and then this power USB Type-C port, 
which allows me to plug my uh, laptop directly into this docking station and one cable, uh, one Thunderbolt 4 cable handles all of the requirements of my laptop. Power and data all handles with one cable. So one cable going in the front and all of these cables coming out the back. And that's what I was looking for. Now this is, this is about $75, $80. And this is about $300. And the uh, shipping, wait shipping time on it is about three months because, uh, well, with the supply chain crisis, uh, lots of lag time between ordering and delivery. So I didn't have to wait three months, but I just checked recently, and now there's a 100-day waiting period for these to be shipped. So I'm glad I got it when I did. Now, it, uh, it's gloss black with an with a aluminum uh, bill, aluminum body. It's a fingerprint magnet, but because you're going to put it in a place on your desk and you're not going to continue to have to ha manipulate or handle it, that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, but excellent build quality, nice heft to it, probably weighs over almost two pounds. And when the cables are coming out the back, it's, they're not going to tilt it up like this or, you know, it, it's not going to move every time, you know, you brush against it or something. It's, it's, it's going to be a, a much more stable device for my desk. And that's what I was looking for. If you think that something like this can help you with, uh, now it's got to be, you know, every device is different. You got to see if this is compatible with your, with your comp computer. I have a Apple M1 computer with a, a M1 Pro chip in it. And so it's compatible with that. Uh, but not every, uh, not every docking station is compatible with every configuration of operating system. So given that brief description, let's take a look at what this dock looks like in operation. Okay, so now here's my desk setup, and please excuse the glare uh, coming through the window. As you can see, I have installed the OWC docking station. It has one Thunderbolt cable leaving my laptop and going into the docking station. And that one cable is handling all of my peripherals and trailing off the back of the uh, docking station. You have the cables that go to my peripherals. Nice and neat, excellent cable management. And you can know that it's functioning properly because the logo here glows blue when it's both charging and handling data. If it was only, if you only had it plugged in but didn't have it plugged into a computer, it would uh, glow white. And the nice thing about it also is that it has a one-click uh, dismount all peripherals. And that's just an app that you can download to your, to your desktop. All right, so that's it. And again, I, you know, it's, it's, serve, it's gonna serve my purposes really well. You gotta make sure that it's compatible with whatever laptop you're using an operating system. But do the research, and if you think something like that will uh, help you with uh, handling legacy peripherals and all the peripherals that you have coming into your laptop, as well as cable management, then do your research and see what you think. This is Dr. B. I am your Creole Connection, and we'll catch you in the next video.